If you're a parent, you've probably had to answer what can only be called kid questions. Why is the sky blue? What happened to the dinosaurs? The never-ending torrent of wonder that comes from little eyes looking at things for the first time. Why is the grass green? Why doesn't air have a color? How much do stars weigh? Do trees feel pain? What about grass? Why do clouds float? Why is the moon following our car? Wait, wait, wait. Let's take that last one. Why does it look like the moon follows us? I got that question recently from my son Gray, and he's right. It does look like the moon is following us, especially when you're driving. But I had to tell him, as charming as he is, and he is a charmer, the moon's not following him. It's just an optical illusion. You see, the moon is very big and very far away, more than 238,000 miles away. In fact, the moon is so big and so far that we'd have to drive really far to change the angle at which we see the moon. That's where the illusion comes in. Let's try this. Here's the moon. Here's our car. There's Gray, little brother Clark, Mom, and me. We start our drive at mile marker zero. Then we drive to mile marker one, one mile. We pass trees, houses, other cars, cupcake shops. Ooh, cupcake! Stay focused. Great. Does it look like the moon is following us? Yes. What about the cupcake shop? Does it look like it is following us? No. As we drove past the closer objects, we see the near side, then the front, then we pass those objects completely. Well, the moon is so far away. On the scale of the Earth and Moon, we have barely moved at all. Yes, we drove a mile, but that's only one two hundred and thirty thousandths of the distance between us and the Moon. We've gone from here to here, practically nowhere at all. So it looks like the Moon hasn't moved relative to our position, unlike everything else we see, and that's why we get the sense the Moon is following us. Because its position relative to us stays virtually unchanged. As for those other kid questions, we'll answer some of those another day. In Southfield, Keenan Smith, Seven Action News.